Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss PHP conditional operator. Question mark colon indicates the conditional operator in PHP. It is the only ternary operator which accepts three operands. Operand 1, Operand 2, Operand 3 where Operand 1 should be a conditional expression. Operand 2 can be a value Operand 3 can be a value. After the question mark, before the colon, whatever you write, it is treated as the true part. After the colon, before the semicolon, whatever you write, it is treated as the false part. If this conditional expression evaluates to true, then the true part will be executed. If the given conditional expression evaluates to false, then the false part will be executed, guys. Let's write a PHP script to find whether the given number is even or odd using the conditional operator guys. I go to vamp server www directory. Within the www directory, we have created default.php file. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.php file is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I say less than question mark PHP, which indicates the beginning of the PHP code, question mark greater than, which indicates the end of the PHP code. Here, I am going to create one variable called as num, and I put the initial value 10 inside it. And then I say echo dollar $num, I want to display the value inside num, and then I say br to push the next content to the next line. I say file, save, go to browser, here I say localhost forward slash default.php. We know that localhost points to vamp server www directory. Within that we have created default.php file, right? To execute the default.php file, I need to say there localhost forward slash default.php. I hit enter. You see that default.php file is executed and we got the output 10, which is the value of num. We want to find out whether the given number is even or odd. Now, how do we find out whether the given number is even or odd? We need to divide the given number by 2. If the remainder is 0, then the given number is considered as even number. I go to MS Paint. Here I say 10 divided by 2. 2 into 5 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. Remainder is 0, guys. If the remainder is 0, then we can say the given number is the even number. So how do you find the remainder guys? We know that we can find the remainder using the percentage symbol or the modulus operator, right? So let's write that. I go to notepad. Here I say mod 2. Mod 2 returns the remainder of the division guys. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see that we got 0. I go back and here I say 11. What will be 11 mod 2 guys? Let's go to MS Paint. I say 11 divided by 2. 2 into 5 is 10. 11 minus 10 is 1. 1 is the remainder guys. I go back here, say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 1. I go back again and say here 10. 10 mod 2, the remainder will be 0. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got 0. If we get the remainder 0, that means the number is the even number. Here, I say bracket and then I say equal to equal to 0. If the result is equal to 0, then we take help of the conditional operator. So this is going to be operand 1, question mark. In double quotations, I say even, then I say colon. In double quotations, odd. Here, num mod 2 is 0. 0 equal to 0 is true. So the true part will be executed. Echo will display even in the browser. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got even. If I go back and say 11. 11 mod 2 is 1. We know that 11 mod 2, we are getting the remainder 1. 1 is equal to 0 is false. So the false part will be executed. Echo will display odd in the browser guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got odd. Now let's display in detail. What I do, 
I'm going to create here one variable called as dollar result equal to, and I delete this br statement. Okay. Now I say here echo. Let's display the dollar num value first. We have the num value eleven. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, it displays eleven. And then I say comma in double quotation space. Is space double quotation file save go to browser and refresh it has displayed eleven is then comma I say dollar result we know that inside the dollar result we will have the value odd because eleven mod two is one one equal to zero is false so false part will be executed odd will be stored in the result I say file save go to browser and refresh eleven is odd displayed. I say comma and then space number. I will display file save good browser and refresh. It is displaying eleven is odd number. So we have displayed little bit detailly. Here I say ten now. We know that ten mod two is zero. Zero equal to zero is true. So the true part will be executed. Even will be stored in the result, guys. Echo will display ten is even number now. File save. Go to browser and refresh. You see that it has displayed 10 is even number. That is how you write a PHP script to find whether the given number is even or odd using the conditional operator. I hope you guys have clearly understood. Let's proceed further and get more information. Note, conditional operator is kind of a shorthand notation for if else statement in PHP. We can write a script to find whether the given number is even or odd using the if else statement also. Conditional operator is just a shorthand notation for the if else statement, guys. Let me go back here. I am going to comment this code for a slash star and star for a slash. I say file save go to browser and refresh. Nothing is displayed because all these three lines are now comments. They are ignored, right? Here I am going to create again a variable called as num. And put the value inside it, ten. And then I say, dollar result is equal to empty string. And here I'm going to say if dollar num mod two is equal to equal to zero. Here inside the if bracket, I have written this conditional expression num mod two equal to equal to zero. If this results to true, then the true block will be executed, guys. So here I say dollar result equal to even semicolon. If this condition evaluates to false, then the else block will be executed. That is the false part of the if condition, guys. Here I say dollar result equal to odd semicolon, and then we are going to display detailly echo dollar num is dollar result number. Here num is ten, ten mod two. Equal to zero, zero equal to zero is true. As this condition evaluates to true, true part will be executed. Even will be stored in the result variable, and then control directly comes to this line. It says that ten is even number. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got ten is even number. I go back. Here I say eleven. We know that eleven mod two is one. One equal to zero is false, so the false part will be executed. Inside the result variable, odd will be stored, and echo will display eleven is odd number. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see that we got eleven is odd number. Here you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lines. Whereas here we have just three lines, so we can say that question mark colon is the shorthand notation for the if else statement, guys. Whatever you can do with the help of question mark colon, that is the conditional operator, you can do with the help of the if else statement, guys. We are going to discuss about if else statements in upcoming video tutorials in detail. At present, we are just understanding the conditional operator, that is the question mark colon, how you can use it. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest to people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly, 
try this code yourself with more examples for more benefits and pre up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share this videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.